I'm taking the walk here roughly three hours before low tide so there's plenty of time for me to have a look below and not risk getting cut off by the tides. There's some lovely baby lambs here with their mother in the field as I walk across the cliff top. I'm just passing the famous Whitby Abbey which was a 7th century Christian monastery and over there in the distance you can see the cliffs of Sandsend. Just make my way down the 199 steps. Last time I came to this beach I did find a really warm little vertebra. Just by the steps over there. That was a very one-off lucky find. It does make you wonder how many people walk past it. The tide is right out now. If you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos and you are interested in seeing some more, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. It's absolutely full of sand again. Last time I was here, it was totally sanded over. Very big sandstone fall over there. Probably worth a look around this area to see if there's any jet knocking about. all really soft stuff, decent looking nodule. I'll put it in my bag and give it a tap later on. Big modern day shell. Not much to show you so far in terms of fossil finds. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. The sun's out at Whitby on the Yorkshire coast and I'm so lucky to be able to come here and fossil hunt. So before this video gets uploaded, I'm going to put a poll up showing two fossils which I've recently had prepared and I'll let you guys decide on which fossil I reveal for the very end of the video. Sand is definitely the greatest enemy of fossil hunters. Totally covers all the good rocks so there's nothing decent to look through. There could always be something which has just been washed out sat on top of the sand. You never really know. Piece of sand on here looks like possible ripple marks on it from the sand when it dried. I'm sure there's way better examples than that, but just something while I'm here. A duck in there, pretty far gone to be fair. Very small one, but an ammonite nonetheless. Piece of fossilised wood, just among the shingle here, where my foot is. Let's for fun split off this piece of plant material here and see what's inside. Basically what I'm looking for is proper plant ferns. It is worth splitting a few pieces of plant material just in case you get that one really nice split where you find a beautiful fern. There is what looks like uh, ammonite on the floor here. Quite wave worn, but yep, an ammonite. Could this be a really nice hildostrous ammonite. Hopefully it's not been split open. Oh, that looks like a good one. Let's get the old hammer out and give it a few taps. Great. It looks like it was totally empty. Yep. Big old crab there. Look in this piece of shale on the bedrock here. Absolutely full of little bivalve shells. One there, one there. Remains of an ammonite that was once encased in a nodule. It's been wearing away, not worth taking out. 
definitely an ammonite. Probably about the best one I've found all day. Any ideas what this is? Possibly heavily pyritic wood or fish bone. This is one thing I find quite interesting. There's a layer of belemites running through the shale. You can see it goes right under here as well, further on. Tiny ammonite there. Should all be there as well. Hello everybody, I am now back up from the beach. A few days ago I did put a poll up on my channel asking you guys which fossil you'd like to see. Now it's been fully prepared, there was over 130 votes which is really cool to see and you guys chose the ichthyosaur tail which is the backbones from the very back end of the creature. So let's go have a look at that right now. Here is the footage from when I originally found the fossil. I was in the right place at the right time and I could see that there was something special inside because there was two vertebras poking out from either end. Now it's been professionally prepared, let's take a closer look. So it was a really good indicator that there's something special on the inside. Inside the nodule there were eight lovely ichthyosaur tail bones. It's a really cool find to find eight articulated like this all types of marine reptile bone on the Yorkshire coast are quite rare but to find a articulated piece you've got to be very lucky. I spend hours searching up and down the beach and usually I come back with nothing but occasionally you get that really lucky find such as this. If you ever do find bone on the beach especially bone what looks like marine reptile bone it's worth not hitting it with your hammer as you'll probably fracture or smash the fossil up. Go and get it professionally prepared and you could have a nice surprise inside like this. Coming to the end of the video now, not been too many decent finds but it's been a beautiful walk on the beach either way. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.